fellow dadpreneurs, Adam Dukes here, and today we're going to talk about the power of visualization, law of attraction, call it what you want. It's not some woo-woo shit. I'm not here to tell you to sit on your couch and mm, for 17 minutes and um, a million dollars is going to fall out of the sky, but I am a believer in visualization, law of attraction, call it whatever you want, uh, but again, with a plan of action in place that is... Um, implemented day, consistently every single day, day in and day out. Having a goal, 30, 60, 90, one year goal, whatever it is, having a plan of attack, but taking time each and every day to visualize that goal. I'm gonna share a couple tips with you today on how to materialize that goal and make sure you achieve that goal, maybe in a little bit faster time than you had planned. So I started reading this book once again. I bought it in, uh, I think this is from 2010. I got started in the online marketing space in 2010, and uh, this was a book highly recommended in the internet marketing circles. And uh, I picked it up, and I think I read half of it. <laughs> and, um, I, and back in 2015, I picked it up and started reading um, the rest of it. And I, I, I don't think I finished it. Um, but anyways, a couple weeks ago, I ended up, I, I have a hard time reading physical books anymore. So I picked up the Kindle version, and I've been reading it on my phone. And I thought, you know what? This is a great time to share the story of the power of visualization and how I used it a few short years ago to take my dad to the Masters Golf Tournament in Augusta, Georgia, a sports bucket list item of mine. Uh, I have a sports bucket list of, of World Series, NBA Finals, Super Bowl, Stanley Cup Finals, a couple college football stadiums, a couple baseball stadiums, uh, and a couple NFL stadiums to visit uh, on my sports bucket list that I made back in uh, my space days, to be honest with you. Um, because I, I made it on MySpace, that's why I remember that. But anyways, Napoleon Hill talks about in Think and Grow Rich um, to uh, visualize your goals. He says to write them down and then you read them. The first thing you wake up, uh, first thing you do when you wake up is to read out your goals, I'll read them out loud. And then right before you go to bed is... Um, you read them again, so twice a day. And so I started doing that in 2015. Now, I don't think I was that good at doing it twice a day, uh, but I was. Do I did do a good job of reading them out loud. And then as the time went on to 2015, I started writing them out every single day. I like writing my goals out five times every single day. It just, so I don't know what it is. It's something um, it, It's something in your head that you, you stay focused on all oh, this. It's just a constant reminder to write them out five times every single day uh, of what you're aiming for, kind of like having a North Star. Oh, that's right. I want to I wanna go take my family to Hawaii. I want to lose 20 pounds. I want to quit smoking. Whatever the hell the goal is, it's just a constant reminder by something with like writing it on a piece of paper. I don't know what it is, but it just keeps you focused. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Helps you jump out of bed and, or get out of bed maybe maybe not jump out of bed uh it just helps push through those tough times so uh, i started writing them out loud or started writing them out five times a day then i would read them five times a day i want to take my dad to the masters i want to take my dad to the masters my dad's birthday is april 9th the masters golf tournament is usually the first or second weekend in april it's always right around his birthday so the tournament starts on thursday and it's played for four days it ends on sunday and 2015, April had passed, so I missed my goal. I didn't hit the goal. And like I said, so I started writing them out, reading them out loud. And then in the very beginning of 2016, I don't know where I got this idea from. It was a blog post I read, a YouTube video I watched. Maybe it was a book, something from a book that I read. Um, was to, uh, I, I found an image, uh, I had my mom send me over, uh, email me a picture of my dad and I, it was just a picture of my dad and I at their house in California. I went to Fiverr and had a Photoshop expert uh, remove the background and then I found a picture just on Google of one of the holes at the Masters and I had, I'll flash up the picture so you can see what it looks like. I had this graphic designer put the picture of my dad and I with no background onto the picture um, of the golf hole so it looked like it was we were at the golf tournament basically what i did is i saved it as my background on my computer and what i would do in this this very monitor this very desk this very chair i've lived in this house a long time <laughs> i would minimize all my windows and every single day i would just sit back like this and i would stare at that picture and i would just think imagine, daydream, visualize, whatever the hell you want, I would get deep into it. And, and what I, like I said, I, I that part, I don't know where I learned from, but this part was using your senses. And this is what I, like I said, I probably picked it up from a blog post or a video or something. And using all five of my senses. So I would visualize what the rental car, what color the rental car 
was. Me driving it, looking over at my dad, him driving it, me looking over at him, uh, the color of the hotel, like the room, what color the bed spreads were, <laughs> things like that. Uh, if it, was it a one-story hotel? Was it six stories? Was it 28 stories? Were we on the third floor, the 17th floor, the first floor, whatever that was? I was just imagining all these things. Like I said, I had no idea. I've never been there before. I didn't know what hotel. I didn't like, I wasn't looking at hotels, anything like that. Visualize the plane ride, you know, where we cramped in the plane ride. Was it, was it busy? Was the plane packed? Were there people? Uh, or were there spaces, you know, where we were sitting on the airplane? Was it hot? Was it cold? Just trying to really get my senses. And then, of course, going to Augusta National, the golf course, and walking in there and kind of just feeling the ground on my feet, um, getting down and touching the grass. Uh, they always talk about that you can hear the birds chirping. So I'd imagine the birds chirping, the smell of the flowers, the fresh cut grass. So I would imagine that. So I would just put all these, uh, uh, try to leverage my five senses as much as possible, really visualizing this trip to the masters from, from literally, like I said, the airplane ride, the hotel, the rental car, the actual golf course itself, all of it. Really Really trying to just visualize it and like I said I'd never been there before so I had no idea it was just purely in my head and in February of 2016 um, my Shopify store that I was running I was slaying uh, women's jewelry and um, it we'd end up doing like eighty four thousand dollars that month now that wasn't all profit that, that was uh, I feel probably 20 percent 20 two percent profit um so that was total sales but it was a really 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 it was a record-breaking month for me at the time and so i had some money to spend on the masters his birthday being in april had this record february and so i ended up picking up some tickets online and it's not you don't get like paper tickets you get um I don't know. You get, it's like a will call. You got to go there. Um, so I ended up ordering tickets online. They were fourteen hundred bucks a piece. Um, we went to the Wednesday practice round because, from what I read online, they said go the practice round is a, a, a more fun event because people more people they're laid back and there's talking. Once Thursday starts, it's like silence and the golfers don't like they just have this tunnel vision. Obviously, it's the biggest golf tournament in the world, the most prestigious golf tournament in the world. So they it, it's just it's just real more it's more laid back on Wednesday so we end up going there um, tick the two tickets the flight the hotel all that I think it was about 4,500 bucks it was the absolute trip of the life lifetime I actually found this uh, it was sitting right next to my desk by chance uh, the spectator guide that we picked up uh, unfortunately they don't allow cameras in there um, or cell phones I should say which I didn't know that I tried to sneak mine in my phone they have a metal detector so that didn't work so you have to check your phone in outside the gate and you get like a little ticket and all that didn't bring a camera unfortunately i was so pissed so we're gonna have to do it again uh ended up we got a picture outside the gates but not inside the gates which was such a bummer um really that was my biggest regret not bringing in like a, a disposable camera those are allowed but cell phones weren't allowed so if you're going to the masters pick up a disposable camera um or you'll be like me and not have any pictures like inside the golf course but i really attribute the like i said i would write it out um, the goals say it out loud, but I will that the that image that I put on my background or my, or my desktop background, whatever you want to call it, and just like I said, every single day I just sit back and just three to seven minutes a day, probably maybe up to ten minutes a day, I would just stare at that damn picture and just imagine all of it, you know, just like I said, the plane ride, all of that. So if you have a goal, whatever it is, if it's, if it's driving a white Tesla, like in my Trello, I use Trello to do like task management, my YouTube channel. Um, mainly it's actually just for my YouTube channel, uh, videos, thumbnails, keywords, things like that. And on the background of my Trello background is a white Tesla. I, I talk about wanting a white Tesla all the time. And it's for that reason is to just constantly see it over and over and over. So uh, the visualization works, the law of attraction works. If it's if you take the time each and every day, like I said, three to seven minutes is all it takes. So get an image, whether it's going to Hawaii, um, money, uh, quitting a job, um, landing your dream woman or man, or whatever it is, um, a six pack, uh, muscles, losing weight, whatever it is, get, go to Fiverr, hire someone that's a Photoshop expert. It's going to be five bucks, 10, maybe $20. Have them make a nice body of you if that's what you want, or you on the beach in Hawaii with your family, or driving a Tesla or a Corvette or Lamborghini or whatever the hell it is, you know, spend the five, 10, 20 bucks, get an image made, save it as your 
background. Hell, put it on your phone background too. Uh, and just stare at that thing every single day, just a couple minutes a day, not asking you to do much work. Uh, like I said, that you have to do work you know, if you're on a diet, if you're trying to lose weight, you got to do the diet, obviously. But having that picture really, uh, really helped crystallize it. So that's my message for today. Visualization does work. I wrote a blog post about this in 2016, uh, but I was like, I never did a video. And then, like I said, when I picked up, started reading this book, I'm like, oh, this is a perfect YouTube video. Um, a bit outside the space I usually talk about affiliate marketing but visualization is just as important the mindset I talk about it all the time it's 90% of this business is getting your head right getting your mind right uh, the 10% um, the how-to, the strategy, the tactics, the luck is 10% of it, but 90% is uh, between your ears. So, hey, if you like these types of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click that little bell notification because I release two to three videos each and every week for your varying pleasure. If you're looking to earn 100 maybe $300 a day online, ethically, of course, check out that link uh, down in my bio, adamdukes.com forward slash go adamdukes.com forward slash go i'll put a link down there on the screen so you can see it if you're watching this youtube video on the tv check out that link if you're interested in earning 100 to 300 dollars a day online ethically so that's all for now as always if you have comments questions or concerns drop them down below i'll, I'll do my absolute best to answer your questions if i can't answer them i'll try to find you someone who can or point you in the right direction the right resource to get that problem solved for you as always thank you so much for watching I truly do appreciate it.